What's up YouTube? I just wanted to do a quick video on a light bar. So I've made a, a few mistakes uh, when I bought mine and I wish I would have seen this video when I was purchasing mine because it's kind of an expensive buy. Um, that's, that's the 54 inch curved light bar that I bought for my truck. Um, so when picking a light bar, the problem I have right now, so I'm, I'm trying to sell it right now. We'll see if I can find someone to buy it so I can get the right one. But so there's spot, there's flood, and then there's combo. So I went with combo trying to get the best of both worlds. Um, learned the hard way that that's not the way to go. So with white trucks, um, I spoke to the guys at, at Baja or at uh, Rigid Industries. With white trucks, they're saying that so the, the problem is that when I turn on my light bar at night, um, whether it's a clean windshield, dirty windshield, doesn't matter. Um, the light reflects and there's a huge glare inside so I can't use it. Uh, it's best, I can see better with it off. So basically it's a paperweight. I use it when I'm out of the truck and I need light. So that's basically the only time I can use it. So what happens is that the light, uh, since it's a, it's a spot flood combo, it reflects off the hood and back into the cab. Um, I was told that there's a few fixes for it. Uh, the most common one is that they, they weld a two inch shield that goes all the way across. Uh, I kind of don't want to do that. I think it's just going to scoop air and it's going to look kind of weird. So I'd rather just uh, buy the spot. <clears throat> they told me that if you get the spot, it'll project the light straight out and then uh, you won't have that problem. Uh, another issue that I had for the longest time is uh, there's a huge it sound like a UFO taking off and what it was it's the wind traveling up the windshield hitting the back fins these little fins right here and uh, it causes like a whistling sound so to fix that I don't know if you can see right there there's a plastic tubing that I used um, it's actually the tubing that holds the screens from windows in the frames I have a small piece that I have outside, but um, what happens, the wind travels up the windshield, goes over these, and it creates the effect of, uh, it's, it's kind of like uh, when you have a glass bottle and you blow into it, um, and it does that whistling sound, that's the same exact sound. When I'd hit 55, maybe 60 miles an hour, it would whistle, it'd sound like a UFO taking off, so there's a lot of different fixes. Some people would put silicone in there, but that's a mess, it's going to look kind of weird so what it is is this is the the tubing what I did is I bought like maybe four different sizes and I found that the the biggest thickest size is the one that fits the best and all I did is I got a screwdriver jammed it in there and that fixed the problem um, and then they also said that the the lights are unbreakable well I actually ended up breaking a set so that's why I have the covers on it now so if a rock hits it a bird or whatever um, it's less likely to break. And that's basically it. I wish I would have known these things when I picked mine out. Uh, so I hope this helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions, hit me up. I'm more than happy to answer whatever you guys may have.